This is a short video on the anatomy of the cranial nerves. Before we begin, here's a view of the inferior side of the brain. So this is the bottom of the brain, where on the left of the image, we see the brain itself. And on the right of the image, we see the skull that the brain would sit on, the bottom of the skull that the brain would sit on. So this is the inferior view of the brain where the 12 cranial nerves can be seen. So if we throw a bunch of labels on there, we can see both sides of the inferior side of the brain. And we're going to label these 12 cranial nerves that we see in this image. So at the very top, it's kind of kind of easy to label them because it goes in uh, relatively in order from 1 to 12. And knowing a bit about the cranial nerves can help you decipher which of these on this image is which nerve. So first is the olfactory nerve. These are the little bulbs, these olfactory bulbs that are at the tip of these nerves on this image here. They project little olfactory nerves down into your nasal cavity through what is called the cribriform plate. And that's how your sense of smell works. As you inhale, you'll pull air into your nasal cavity and it'll come that air and particles in that air will come into contact with the olfactory nerve that is coming off of the bulb that you see in this image. So that's the olfactory nerve. Next is the optic nerve. Now these optic nerves cross at what is called the optic chiasm. One optic nerve goes to each eye and they cross and go to different sides of the brain after that cross. Number two is the optic nerve in green there. Three is the oculomotor nerve. So, so far we've gone down this image and we have cranial nerves one, two, and three. So you see the oculomotor nerve there in yellow. Next is the trochlear nerve and the trochlear nerve also does some eye movements. That's just below the oculomotor nerve nerve. This big one in blue is the trigeminal nerve. And as the name implies trigeminal, there are three branches coming off of the trigeminal nerve. There's the, the highest one is the ophthalmic division. There's a maxillary division and there's a mandibular division. So the trigeminal nerve branches off. It's, it's a big nerve. It's a very important nerve. It has both sensory and motor functions and it splits off into three. So it's that big one. You know, it's important, you know, it's big and you know, it splits off into three helps you recognize it still going down, uh, down the side of the brain, as you see it in this image here. Next is the cranial nerve six, the abductions. This is also going down. This is also for eye movements. Right next to that is the facial nerve. Facial nerve is that olive green there. Right below the olive green is the pink. It's obviously not really pink. In this image, it's pink. It's cranial nerve 8, vestibulocochlear nerve. And it's even more simple as we keep going down here. Glossopharyngeal is cranial nerve 9. That's right below cranial nerve 8. And vagus is right below that. So we're going to ignore that overlying nerve. Um, that's actually cranial nerve 12. Let's just put the rest of the labels up there now. Uh, it's interesting because cranial nerve 11 is technically coming from, or some parts of cranial nerve 11 technically comes from lower down on the spinal cord. So it's kind of like a cervical nerve, but it's been labeled as a cranial nerve and that, and that label has, has just stuck. And it actually just innervates muscles in your neck and, uh, and, and your trapezius. So uh, cranial nerve 11 is kind of the oddball that comes from the bottom. So that helps me remember that it's kind of out of order while going down this image and looking at the 12 cranial nerves. And lastly is the hypoglossal cranial, cranial nerve 12 that innervates the tongue that kind of overlays some of the other uh, cranial nerves, as you can see in this image here. Here is a real image of a brain as opposed to a diagram. And you can see that's a little harder to identify the parts when they're not color coded and when they're not uh, so obvious and when they're not drawn so obvious. Um, the, the 12 cranial nerves are st still labeled here relatively in their order with the exception of cranial nerve 11 being uh, the furthest down on this image. And it's easy to remember the cranial nerves if you think about their origins. The first four cranial nerves come from the midbrain and up the midbrain and in a little higher parts of the brain, like the diencephalon. The next four cranial nerves, that's cranial nerves four, five, six, excuse me, that's cranial nerves five, six, seven, and eight come from the pons 
and those last four cranial nerves come from the medulla, or they can best be seen in the medulla. Um, cranial nerve 11 really kind of comes from the spinal cord, but projects up into the medulla. So if you divide the three or the 12 cranial nerves into three sections, they uh, kind of come from the three sections of the brainstem. That's the midbrain, the pons, and the medulla, as you can see in this image. This has been a short overview of the anatomy of cranial nerves with some tips for help for helping you find them. I hope it was helpful.